Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about vital statistics and its application in nursing research. It is taken from 7th unit that is Introduction to Statistics in Nursing Research for BSc Nursing Students. This video is also useful for post basic BSc Nursing Students as well as MSc Nursing Students. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Already we have posted many videos with regard to nursing research and statistics. I have given the link in description box. You can go and watch it or you can watch our channel playlist BSc Nursing 4th Year Nursing Research and Statistics for more nursing research and statistic related videos. Let's move on to the topic. Vital statistics. What is vital statistics? So vital statistics means they are quantitative measurements. So you can quantify them. Quantify means you can number them. Okay, so vital statistics are nothing but they are quantitative measurements on live births, deaths, fetal deaths, infant deaths, fertility and so on. Vital statistics are nothing but they are quantitative measures which measures on live births, deaths, fetal deaths, infant deaths, fertility and so on. So data on vital events are collected by means of five methods. What are those five methods? Civil registration system, census or complete enumeration method, survey method, sample registration system and analytical method. So by means of these five methods, vital statistics has been collected. What are the methods? Civil registration system, census or complete enumeration method, survey method, sample registration system, analytical method. Census method normally covers data which include age of the person, sex of the person, marital status, education level, occupation, religion and other important factors which are needed for computing vital statistics. So it includes age, sex, marital status, educational status, occupation, religion and some other important vital factors in order to formulate the vital statistics. Census is conducted in most countries at intervals of 10 years. In many countries, every 10 years they used to conduct uh, census. In India also, every 11th year they used to conduct the census. So rates of vital events are usually expressed per thousand. Mostly it is expressed per thousand. In some areas it can be expressed in 100 also, but majority, 99% it is expressed per thousand okay whatever either it can be infant mortality rate maternal mortality everything no it is expressed in terms of thousand okay next we will see some of the important vital statistics or vital events okay so first is crude death rate what is crude death rate number of deaths in the population or community during the given period divided by total number of persons in the population or community during the given period into 1000. So this is the formula for calculating crude death rate. So what it is number of deaths in the population or community during the given period divided by total number of persons in the population or community during the given period in 2000. Next is specific death rate. So death which occurs due to a specific reason okay, or due to a specific health condition like that. See now uh, how many deaths have been occurred because of this corona pandemic so like that no that is related to specific okay specific death rate is equal to number of deaths in a specific section of the population during the given period divided by total number of persons in the specific section of the population during the given period into thousand this specific is it can be age group also Okay, in this age group, how many have died like that? Okay, so specific death rate is equal to number of deaths in a specific section of the population during the given period divided by 
total number of persons in the specific section of the population during the given period into 1000. Next is infant mortality rate. Infant means from 28 days to 1 year we are telling as infant after birth. Uh, from 0 to 28 days we are telling as neonatal okay neonatal so infant mortality rate is equal to number of infant deaths in a population during the given period it can be a year okay it can be a year in the year 2020 like that okay uh, divided by number of live births in the population during the given period into 1000 I repeat infant mortality rate which is equal to number of infant deaths in a population during the given period divided by number of live births in the population during the given period into 1000. Next we will see what is cohort. See cohort is nothing but it is a group of individuals who born at the same time and experience the same mortality conditions. Mortality means death rate. Cohort is nothing but it is a group of individuals who born at the same time and who experience the same mortality conditions. A life table exhibits the number of persons living and dying at each age. For example, 65 years means how many are living and how many have died like that on the basis of the experience of the cohort group which also gives the life expectancy of the population. Now we are telling no life expectancy for males, life expectancy for females on an average we are telling 65 years, 63 years. How we are telling all these things because of this cohort analysis only. Next Radix of your life table refers to the uh, number of uh, survivors at the beginning of the table. So it is nothing but how many are surviving at the beginning of the life table that is called as Radix of your life table. This is for your extra information. Next we will see some other important uh, rates apart from death rate and don't know what we have seen crude birth rate what is this crude birth rate number of live births that is the babies which are born live in the population during the given period divided by total number of persons in the population during the given period into thousand what is crude birth rate number of live births in the population during the given period divided by total number of persons in the population during the given period into 1000. Next is general fertility rate. What is general fertility rate? Number of live births occurred in the population during the given period. Okay, number of live births which occurred in the population during the given period divided by total number of women who are at reproductive age group in the population during the given period because only women who are in the reproductive age group only can be able to produce an offspring or live birth. Okay, so general fertility rate is equal to number of live births occurred in the population during the given period divided by total number of women at the reproductive age group in the population during the given period into 1000. Next is specific fertility rate. Specific fertility rate it is nothing but number of live births of the woman in the reproductive age group or specific section in a given period divided by total number of women in the reproductive age group of the specific section in the given period into 1000. What is specific fertility rate? So specific section it can be an age group that is from 20 to 25 years or 25 to 30 years like that also you can take it. So what is specific fertility rate? Number of live births in the woman population in the reproductive age group or specific section in a given period divided by total number of women in the reproductive age group of the specific section in the given period into 1000. What is crude rate of natural increase? That is rising population how you can find out. So here which is equal to crude birth rate minus crude death rate. So crude rate of natural increase um, is equal to that is increase in population is equal to crude birth rate minus crude death rate. What is pearls vital index is nothing but crude birth rate divided by crude death rate into 100. What is pearls vital index? 
crude birth rate divided by crude death rate into 100. So I have given only very minimal uh, rates. So you have uh, maternal mortality rate, infant mortality rate, neonatal mortality rate, specific disease uh, rate like that. So many things you are having only uh, just only I have explained in this video. So official statistics where you will be getting all these official statistics. So the official statistics or the statistical information which are collected and compiled on various aspects including all major areas of citizens lives like economic and social development, living conditions of the citizens, health, education and environment. What is this official statistics? Official statistics are nothing but they are the statistical information collected and compiled on various aspects including all major areas of citizens lives such as economic and social development, living conditions, health as well as education and environment where you can collect official statistics. So an official statistical system was initially established in India by Call Skies during the year 1847 with a department of statistics in India House. So it was developed by whom? It was developed by Call Sykes during the year 1847 official statistical system where he has developed he has developed a department of statistics in india house so the first census report of india was published in 1848 first first the census how much the population everything they have uh, published in the year 1848 the central statistics office is responsible for coordination of statistical activities in the country and evolving and maintaining statistical standards which has given main divisions. So the National Sample Survey Office headed by a Director General is responsible for conduct of national level large scale sample surveys in diverse fields which has four divisions. So the official statistics this is a, just an extra information with regard to official statistics how this census has been started and by whom it has been started. Hope this video is clear for you all. If you still have any doubts feel free to post your doubts in comment section. As I have told earlier my previous videos link I have given in description box. If you have not watched it you can go and watch it. If you like my video, please give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel. As I have told earlier, this is only a gist of vital statistics with regard to nursing. You have so many that is morbidity rates, mortality rates, everything uh, uh, you are having. So important thing only I have uh, discussed here. If you want, you can uh, refer uh, uh, more books with regard to vital statistics. You can refer community park book uh, also for uh, more details. Thank you friends. Keep supporting to Science Easy Tech channel.